Alright, the only one I didn't organize was this, but I definitely put Ike towards the front of C tier. If I can, uh, I might have to rearrange everybody, that's my work. Whatever. C tier, we have Falco. Okay. And I think Falco is very underrated character. He's definitely coming up more. As a Falco main, I can definitely say... Yeah, shout out. That's right. Shout outs to myself. Shout outs to Keitaro. Yeah, shout outs Keitaro. To Cyro, everyone using Falco. Shout outs to Kevin, everybody. Yeah, Kevin. Um, Falco is a very underrated character. With the, new, with the recent buffs, his up air has gotten a lot better. You know, up, air, uh, up throw to up air. Mm -hmm. His back air kills extremely early. He's good off stage. Forward air will drag you down, kill you. He's not Fox, obviously. Forward air drag you down. He's not Fox. No, you can no. Uh, Falco's too. The multi hit with his beak. You can you can fast fall that. Oh, sorry. And it drags the opponent down. Yeah, or if you hit the, with the very end of it, you can spike them too. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Yeah, oh. I don't use it much because oh. it's hard to time. But I knew so, I knew Fox did. Oh shit! Same yeah. thing as Fox. Basically, recovery leaves a lot to be desired. His speed. Yeah. He's not Fox in that regard. His speed is definitely bad. And that's probably the main drawback of Falco. If he was faster, he'd be a much higher character. Yep, his definitely. blaster, again, he puts it away way too slow. I don't know why Fox is the only one that got a blaster. No laser cancel. Yeah. Like melee. Then he would be... And his shine, he kicks it so he can't shine spike yeah, you. He no can't do any of that. Yep. So Falco, I leave right there nestled in C. Yep. Peach. Peach is in C because... And shout outs to Brandon, even though he's a queer. Yo. Oh! <laughs> yo. Shout! That's my waifu, yo. No, it's not. Alright, All right, so... She was at my house. Right, Shante. So, oh, shit, with Lucina. Oh, all right, so let me let me let me talk about this. Yes, no, 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 no. all right, here. Let, Please let him, go let right ahead. Talk. Now, for be, me and Anthony and well, Justin loses, but me and Anthony have been playing oh! Project M a lot. And but this okay, is, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. right off the bat, we're stopping him now. First off, there's Smash Four. Okay, okay we're not talking about it. It doesn't matter. Yo, before, yo, this interruption, I swear. All right, all right, go go. So playing Project M Peach, I realized that. Peach used to be so good, and I wish she was the way she was in Smash 4. I'm going to stick to the what, what Dark Peach said. Dark Peach said she's better in Smash 4, but she's less safe. And I'll be damned if she's low tier. She's actually pretty good. Peach is one of those characters where you have to know what you're doing to use her, and that's why she's in C tier. She's a good yeah. character. Her metagame is developed, but it could be more. Her, her neutral is completely dependent on the matchup and the turnip. I mean, unfortunately. Also, I mean, it, it, the, the thing I like about Peach though is that you could play her in different ways. Like, you know, the way I play her is like, even though I don't really play her, is like keep away. You go in aggressive, but I guess that's from PM or something. But yeah. like, it's like it, it's cool because it's not like you know Rosalina like. She can be. I mean, she, she, she can. She can be aggressive, but, but it's just get, it'll like, work destroyed. against her. Yeah. I mean, unless she's like juggling with up there, that's really the only time she should be aggressive. Otherwise, she's better he, off like just staying. Katie but. and or Anthony did say it right. I do like to be offensive with Peach, but I think she, it's possible with her. It's just not easy. That's yeah. all. She's she's again she's done. a good, she's a good solid character. Her neutral is some to be desired. She has a pretty decent recovery. Her float definitely helps. Yep. Puts pressure, but she. Has a lot of unsafe moves, so yeah. she. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, so she's good. Right at C. Bowser. Oh. Okay. Bowser is <sighs> behind DK. He, I think Bowser was the best heavy. Now DK definitely holds that spot. But Bowser isn't bad. He's the fastest heavy, without a doubt. Does he still have his uh, his his forward air strings? Uh, may I think it depends on uh, where you hit. But super armor up smash. His legs and his arms are intangible, meaning they count as swords, basically, when you hit. So, when you fight Bowser, it's like fighting a sword fighter, because you can't hit him through his arms and legs. Yep. Which makes him a very good character. He's fast, he just has good combos. He's pretty good, he's got recent buffs, too. His neutral air will do 24 damage if you hit all the hits. So, he's, he's a solid character. Shoutouts to Alex Wood for repping him. Yeah, Alex. And when we get back to Game Watch, we'll give you another shout-out. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, next. Oh, only thing with Bowser, though, is his uh, recovery isn't the best. And if people keep you in the air, Bowser has a lot of trouble getting back to ground. That's what most Bowser mains say. Yeah, Bowser has a lot of trouble. Well. Yeah, he has a lot of trouble landing. You know, his down B, his down air to say, oh, you know, you can use that to get down. But the lag on that is atrocious. All right. Next, Palutena. Oh, man. Palutena. Why is she up in B? What? Um, C. I didn't even C. see that. Oh, C? Nah. Yeah. I mean... I think right, Palutena I mean, is a great character. She, okay. I think she's a good she, character in the right hand. She has a lot of tools. She's very combo heavy. She's got a projectile. She's got a reflector. 
She got great recovery. I look. I tried to like Pai Wait, what, what combos does she have? She, she has, has down she air. Now has down, down throw. Down, up air she's always had down throw up air. Neutral air combos. Down throw. No down throw up air. Up air, up air is the air. one where she sticks the staff up and it does yeah. all the lights. That's up oh, air. okay, up air. So she's, I think she's a very well, she good does, character. She does have, she got buffed, yeah. yeah. It's just you still have to play her in a very specific way, and I still think side B and B are really fucking useless as neutral tools. If those were improved, then I'd say yeah. Mm, I'd say she'd maybe. be higher. She's definitely low because of her low, the a lot of lag on her tilts. Oh god, she her tilts are yeah. disgusting. If it was custom power tennis, she'd be a lot higher because we all know how that was abused. Yeah. But She's too right now, I think C tiers or power tennis belongs. If her, if her tilts were... I think, honestly, if her tilts were like adjusted so she wouldn't feel so stiff, I think she'd be really good. Yeah, I but be I guess what, I think she, I think she's C tier. Maybe she's C tier against a projectile character, especially because of you know her her side B. Yeah, but her side B but is useless. No, All no, right. it's not. First off, oh, and she has a counter on top of that, a reflector yeah, and a counter. She does, have, she does have a counter. So she's got all these tools to be a good character. I think she's a decent character, and that's why she's at C. Yeah, but that's the thing. She's built to be a defensive character, but her projectile well, sucks. It's kind of a defensive game, to be honest. Yeah. But with the new with the new shield updates, maybe Palutena might not be as good, but we Don't will see. Don't tell me that Smash Four is a defensive game because I'm holding out for it, it to is. be. It is a defensive game. Oh god! It's absolutely a defensive game. Ah uh, man, you're turning defensive me off right defensive now. play kind of trumps offensive play in most scenarios. Yeah. Most, not all. Yeah. And this is why the buzz is so good with Rosalina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he he plays the most defensive Olimar you've ever seen. Oh, now Olimar and Rosalina. Rosalina yeah. If Shantae plays defensive, I'm going to be a little upset. Well, you, that's up to you to play yeah, a defensive. Exactly. You, you can play however you want, but... Defensive will probably win. win yeah. Alright, now. Watch. Next, going on to Game Watch. Again, I shout out to Alex Game Wood. Watch. Yeah, Probably the out. finest Game Watch I've seen. Number one in Ohio. There you go, shout him out. But this isn't about him. This is about Game Watch. Yeah, Game right. Watch is a very solid character. If you know how to use them, very a lot of multi-hit moves with very long hitboxes. A lot of nine hammers. Oh, nine. Eh. If you want to rely on the gimmick, Game Watch has a gimmick. He has bucket. He has the hammer. Yo, bucket. You know, he has a lot of gimmicks, but he also has a projectile and chef. The bucket can net very easy kills. He, I get he gets not priority, but again, he has long hitboxes, so it makes it seem like Game Watch might beat out most of your moves. Uh, his recovery is very good. It can actually uh, beat out a lot of other recoveries, and he has the key, which oh, unlike yeah. other down air recover or moves, it pushes them away. It has a hitbox in it, so oh. it will beat out any up airs you try to do when you try and attack yep. Game Watch. So foxes, falcos, watch out for that. And I think he's a solid character overall. Uh oh. Here and we now go. here we go. Uh oh. Lucina. We have Lucina. Woo! Lucina and Marth. Woo! Anthony, take it away. I'm taking this over right now. All right, so what's up, guys? Check this out. Lucina, ah. first off, she is all about offensive pressure, but you got to play smart, okay? You can't just run in. I've tried that back in the day, and it doesn't work. Like we've been talking about, Smash 4 is really about defensive play over offensive, but you still need a good offensive, you know, play style to, you know, keep up. You can't just defend because eventually, you know, you're going to get your ass whooped. Not okay. Lucina, yeah. So... Lucina is great. I mean, she's quick. She has a shield break. For, all right, this is for everyone that says that that shield break nerf didn't do anything because it balanced out with, you know, the whole shield damage thing that, that they did bullshit to every character. That's bullshit. I don't care who you are. If you said that, you don't play them or you don't play them enough. You suck, okay? <laughs> don't you dare say that it didn't do anything. I've seen it. Viable. I have seen it. Brandon, I showed him something that has caught him a million times over not work in his face. It's true. I showed him. It's true. It does not, it is not the same. Anyway, alright, so as a character, she's fast, I mean, her grabs don't combo into anything. Maybe at like low percent you can, you know, down throw to like short hop up air. That's all you're gonna get out of her. Um... Uh, I mean, she had she, her. Basically, the best part about her is the ledge guarding. Oh my god, her ledge guarding is probably one of the best in the game. I mean, first off, her up B is very hard to punish. So even so, she could stay on like off stage a lot, and it's like you have to really time her up B to like actually catch her on that. I mean, otherwise she's pretty safe. Um, why she's in C tier? Uh, uh, 
let's see. I mean, I guess she doesn't have a lot of combos. It's a lot of just mixing up and, you know, mind games, really. Like, you have to catch your opponent off guard to hit a forward smash. It's not like melee where it's just down throw to forward smash. Like, that's all you needed. Just right. a down throw. Yeah. Right. Nowadays, you basically have to read every single character. And it seems like in this game, like, learning the specific matchups, you know, is good. But it might not get you far as far as real tournaments go. You can't just read the matchup. And right. I think that's why... She, she and Martha are in C tier. Now, people say that Martha's better. I'll tell you right now, no. Shout out to Gunblade. He told me that in that matchup, Martha is not better than Lucina because it's you have to think too much. If she's getting up close to you, sure, you can space her and blah, 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 this, that. But to really have to think about that versus just doing the fixed damage on every single hit you do... It really just works. I mean... I agree. Marth is not better than Lucina. I know a lot of people think so just because he does more damage. Damage is not everything. Like we say, it is a defensive game. It really isn't about damage. That You can get a tip all you want. If you, if you got hit 15 times over with a move that's doing the same damage, you, you're going to lose. Yeah, definitely. That's why I put Lucina above Marth, because yeah. Marth, you have to focus more on getting the tip and yeah. spacing more than Lucina, where it doesn't matter where you forward smash, it's always going to do the same amount of damage, and has the same amount of poten uh, potential to kill. Yeah, people say, oh, you get rewarded for tips, but if you don't hit the tip, it's like, that's it. Like, he's a, it's garbage, no knockback, no anything. I can hit you, I, can, I know how to space. I play Marth in, in PM, in melee. Brandon knows the deal. I can space. People say, oh, Lucina is, you know, Marth for noobs. All right, play me. <laughs> All right, so I'll I'll post my... Justin will do all of our Nintendo Yes, we'll IDs, have our right? IDs all in the description. We'll have all that basic information. So, so you, you want to say that Marth is better? We'll see. I mean, I've lost to maybe three good Marths, and that's really it. I mean, usually they're... Easy money, basically. Roy is way harder, which is, is explained right here. But anyway, I right, basically so. took care of both of them. Right, so on to DDD. On to DDD. Fuck that DDD, guy. C tier. Let's see. He's got the multiple jumps. Yep. He's got the range. Yep. He's not fast, but he has a lot of quote unquote priority yep. in his moves. Neutral yep. air. Yo, we all know how neutral air just messes everybody up. Yeah. Neutral air yeah, to. Yeah, fast fall neutral air to down tilt, or he's just rolling through you like the fat ass he is. Rolling, Yo, yeah. that dodge roll of his is really deceptive. That's what I'm saying. And so his quick. smash attacks do so much damage. His down smash comes out so fast, does so much damage. Gordo's obviously, you know, for pressure. I think he deserve he's he deserves his spot as C. He's not higher because he's too slow. Not much res representation, and. Yeah. There's better characters shout out, uh, that yeah, do what he can do. Dude, shout out to Gunblade again. I mean, his DDD destroyed me in every single like sense of the word. I mean, DDD really has the potential to be good, but you, again, have to be like very committed. Just like Lucina. Like, once you start getting to like, C tier, you have to be committed to that person. You can't just pick them up. Like, my man, when I was Sheik, third day, I was embarrassing people. Like, Lucina, third day, I was getting destroyed. You really have to try when you start getting the C tier. Like, Falco, I mean, shout-outs to Justin. I mean, come on, man. It, he did not pick up Falco and was killing people. It's really hard to start using, uh, you know, characters in C tier. Same with Peach. Shout-out, Brandon. Right. It's really hard with these characters. But they do have maybe not high tournament, pr uh, you know, potential, but they're definitely good characters. No sleepers. Are right. you feeling it? Now, yep. Uh oh. We're all feeling it, and here comes Shulk. I'm really feeling it. Shut the fuck up, Anthony. I think, I personally think Shulk is a great character, but everything about him says otherwise. You know, lots of landing lag on his moves, lots of end lag on his moves, and the whole gimmick of him having the Monados is great. That's what makes him a great character. Yep. But there aren't many people that use that, that abuse it. Yep. The only notable Shulk I can think of, and he's from my area, is John Numbers. Yeah, I and was gonna say, because we, we know Shulk at his prime, because John Numbers was a really good Shulk, and we versed him, me and Justin specifically versed him in friendlies a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. We, we've seen a lot of John Numbers. Right, but, I mean, he, as far as I can see, he doesn't play Shulk anymore. And, it, not, not to make assumptions for him, but it's probably due to the fact that Shulk is just... <sighs> not as good as we fit, He's not mark. that good of a character, to be honest. 
he, like I said, a lot of lag. You know, you can do neutral air to down tilt, but they block that neutral air. You're getting grabbed right through it, and yeah. then it's just he just leaves a lot to be desired. He would be the best swordsman if he had a better a better game. If he was faster, you know, you could say he's the fastest character in the game with speed monado. All right, he can only stay in speed monado for what 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and then that's it. And then you know, there's always a downside to using all of these monados. Yeah, he's just. That one's, uh, um, yeah, I think that and jump. I Maybe mean, does less damage. I find that funny yeah. that you lump Shulk right next to his other used character. We, we fit. fit trainer. Well, wait, before before I finish Shulk, one last thing though that makes Shulk better. If you're in Buster mode with this new shield mechanic, you can break shields very easily with Shulk. His forward smash will almost completely deplete shields. It's like a shield breaker for Shulk. Yep. So any move and then you do forward smash will break shields. And shout outs to Freeman for showing me that oh, when we shout faced. Shout out to Freeman. Oh my god. Yeah, he he rubbed Shulk hard. And Roy. Yeah, Roy, he killed it. And when we get to Ike, he'll get another one. Hell yeah. Uh, now onto Wii Fit. Another John Numbers main, and he's been putting in work with uh, Wii Fit. Wii Fit is not a bad... Ca- I don't know. I personally don't have much experience with Wii Fit, but Me she neither. seems... I, say I have to say this. Look, you have to be very accurate with like uh, a few of her moves. I mean... The thing that makes her a really good character is that her neutral, well, sorry, her jab and her forward tilt can hit in front of her and behind her. And her down smash. And her forward smash. Holy shit. She has moves that basically, let's just say you roll behind her when you see like a forward smash being charged. Sure, when you know her, you wouldn't do that, but she could still hit you even if you're right behind her with yeah. four different moves that I just thought of. Um. Let's see. The problem with her is she's definitely light. Um, Slow. She's her grab is bulk. Yeah, her well, grab is like Shulk's grab. I mean, you have to be like sniffing their ass to really get that grab. Yeah, and in previous patches, she couldn't even grab short characters yep. at certain like areas. Yep. So that was that kind of fucked her over. Her up smash, it you literally have to be touching her fingernails to hit because that I mean actually I think they actually increased the radius nowadays because it seems like I've been hitting it easier right but nonetheless her up her up smash is very very like hard to hit as far as like accuracy goes I mean if you practice of course but right I mean let's see but she's definitely a really fun character her her recovery is is very good, both horizontally and vertically, which makes her like really good when you know when when you're off stage. But at the same time, you can you see she can get gimped, not too easy, but it is a little easy to get her. Yeah. So, so long as you don't get hit with the hula hoop. So I right, guess from so. For, vertical, you know, spike her. You you can you can kick her face off basically. Yeah. But, so despite her representation, she's just. She could be a better character. Yep. Uh, right. Next, Ike. Uh, I think honestly, I think Ike should have been higher no. in C, or at least low B, just because Ike is really—he's not as bad as a character as everyone thought he was coming from Brawl. Because Brawl, obviously, you know, he was—he was great. He was the so, uh, shit. He was a great yeah, character in Brawl. And, but it's not that he's bad in Smash Force. Just Smash Force is just a different game. Yeah, it's just like it's just like Marth. Like it's Marth is nowhere near how he used to be. Yeah, and that's just because of the mechanics of the game, the way the yeah. game works. But Ike is definitely a good character. He has a lot of good representation. Most notably, MVG Rio, and shout outs to you. Shout out. He's and to Freeman again. Yeah. He's a very solid character. He has a lot of good range, a lot of true combos, hits like a fucking truck. Counter. And he's just—he's a good character. Obviously, his only downsides being recovery, very linear. If you're too low to the stage, you're not making it back up. He also fights for his friends. Right, but that's—that doesn't take into account this. If fighting for your friends made this tier list, he'd be S. Yep. But yeah, I think Ike is a very, very good character. Definitely can't sleep on him. But definitely can't sleep on him. But he's slow, and he's probably—he's not as good as Roy. I have to safely say, yep. Roy is like a faster Ike. You know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff in the in the Smash group though that apparently they think that Ike is the second uh, is next to Roy is the second best Fire Emblem character. Uh, I could see it. I mean, I mean, opposed to Lucina Marth, yeah, I could see it. To be honest, you know what it is? I think maybe in like I don't know. He it, he gets comboed easy though. Like I noticed with Lucina, I can escape a lot of jabs. Like, like, you know, like rapid jabs, like, you know, Fox and Falco and stuff. I can escape those a lot, but since Ike is heavy, he, he just has to sit there. 
He can yeah. get comboed easy, especially against like, you know, Sheik or like Zero Suit. He's gonna get destroyed. I can actually escape a few, you know, uh, a few combos. But I don't know. I mean, I guess if you keep them away and avoid the combo, sure, but. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, Ike's solid character, but could be better. Yep. Pac Man. Pac Man. Pac -Man. The newcomer to this game I this think, time around. I think he is a one-trick pony. I mean, I had, I had, I'm not saying I haven't had trouble with Pac-Man, but it's always the same gimmick, and I blame myself. For I don't think so. It. I think, I think Pac-Man's a very good character. He's in C tier because lack of representation and his gimmick can be get. It can you can get if around you, it. If yeah. you read him, that's a solid fat forward air for me. Right, but yeah. not to say there aren't good Pac-Mans. Abadango obviously putting in work with uh, Pac-Man. Yeah. Hard. So Pac-Man is a good character. He's got the gimmick of the fruit. He's got the hydrant. His up B gives him multiple chances to, you know, recover. Yep. It can fuck up approaches. I see a lot of Pac-Mans doing up B on stage when someone gets close to them to yep. get themselves out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Pac-Man is definitely a versatile character. He's got a lot of tools at his disposal. Key will kill you pretty early. Hydrant will kill you early. Key to hydrant. You know, he's just very unexpected character. Got a lot. Got a very a lot of mind games. Very mind gamey character. Neutral, you know, fruits and hydrant. He's he's good character, but I, I think he's he's slow. His grab is horrendous. That is an yeah, ugly grab. It is a bad grab. And his I think jab is really good, his jab is good. He's got good tilts, but he I don't know. One out of his out of his dash attack. That's cool. True. I I just think C tier because mostly because of representation. Yeah. 